Neil? Neil? You OK? Right. <laughs> um, right, one word before we start. We hear it. We hear it. And if, it, if you do it really realistically, it sounds right. If you don't do it realistically, it sounds wrong. Yeah. Hayley, Hayley, do you mind just being there? I'm working from somewhere I've never worked before, which is not having seen a script. It's kind of a dream, you know, shooting chronologically, not knowing what happens. It's what you want, because it means you're going to be able to do it then and there, and it's just about you and who you're with. When I went to the food bank and we saw the extras outside, I found it really overwhelming. The, the reason it's so raw is because you're stepping into people's lives and they're, they're, these people that are using this place and are in this position are around you doing it with you. It'll be, be from there round to the fruit. It's the purest environment you could ever have. That's what all this, you know, very, very precise pre preparation and precise casting and is all to achieve this truth, I guess. It fundamentally changed how I approach acting, and it's it can never been the same since. 171, take three, come on board in the end. You know, there's no marks, so there's no action, there's no cut. You don't have the script as your, as your document, you're just going, you're reacting as it happens, you know, on film. So, it, so it, it becomes all emotion and not intellect. It's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. So it was like going on this adventure with all these people who we became very, very close to. We had gone on this journey, which felt to us as close as it could possibly be to, to, to reality. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it was marvelous. So by the end, certainly for me, it didn't feel like I was performing. I was just kind of swept up in this world that, that, that we had created and that we were invested in that felt completely authentic and real and truthful. And that was because Ken set it up that way.